Hello everyone. Welcome to iExamB. I hope all of you are staying safe and doing well and getting vaccinated. If you remember in our last video, we were looking at some uh, phrasal verbs related to traveling. We're going to do the same today, but we will not talk about travel today. We're going to talk about things that matter. We're going to talk about money. Okay, so let's look at some phrasal verbs related to money. And if you remember, associating phrasal verbs to certain themes or categories will help you to remember. So every time you remember travel, your minds can associate with those phrasal verbs that you have learned that are related to traveling. Uh, phrasal verbs like get on, get off, take off, see off, right? So today, our theme would be money related to financial matters, right? The first phrasal verb that we're going to look at is pay off. And this is very easy. I'm sure you must have heard it. So pay off means to give the money that you have borrowed to the bank so that you don't owe them anything. So you have taken money and you're giving it back to the bank. So you can pay off your loan. You can pay off a mortgage. You can pay off your EMIs, right? Okay. Now, pay off, like last video, these uh, phrasal verbs also have a second meaning or a third meaning, right? Because these phrasal verbs are very, very interesting. They can be used in multiple contexts. Same with idioms. So the second meaning for pay off is to be successful and bring good results. But... Here, you should have taken some sort of a risk, okay? For example, our hard work paid off, okay? So you worked very hard, like most of you do as you're preparing for your government exams, right? You're staying up, staying nigh all night, and you're working very hard. You are dedicated, and you're following a strict schedule and routine, I hope. And... When you clear those exams, you can say it with pride. Your hard work paid off, right? Okay. The next phrasal verb is rip off. So rip off means to charge someone too much money for something. This is what happened to foreign tourists. Or it might also happen to us if we're visiting a, a place of tourist interest, touristic interest, right? Just might get ripped off or you might just get uh, cheated, right? So... They ripped us off. Don't trust them. Maybe some tourist is saying this. So don't trust them. Those agents, they ripped us off. A rip off also means to tear or pull off something of someone. For example, you, you ripped off a button or the baby ripped off the doll, the hand of the doll, right? So you can something like that. So a severe hailstorm ripped off all the leaves of my plant and snapped the stem. Not a good thing to do. And this is something actually that actually happened, right? So I felt very sad, not a hailstorm, but it was just a nervous start. My plants were all uprooted and some of them were ripped off by the storms. Our next phrasal verb is save up, right? This is very easy. So you save up money for rainy days, remember? Yes, there's another video you can go and check. That's a video on idioms. And it's all of those idioms are based on rain. So idioms related to rain. And one of them is rainy days. Rainy days means uh, times that, it, that, that might be hard or difficult or financially strained, right? So let's save up for a rainy day for tough times, for difficult times, for unprecedented times, right? Okay. Next one. Go up and go down. So this is very easy. Prices have gone up a lot recently. And do you think the price of petrol is going to go down soon? This is very easy. You hear it every day, every day. So price is going up, price is coming down. Chip in. Chip in means to contribute money towards something. Right? For example, you have a group of friends and you are a part of it and you go out for dinner right and this is basically a treat to one of your friends maybe it was just his birthday or was getting married and all of you decide to give him or her a treat so if you chip in there 
you are basically contributing money for the cause right or maybe when you have you're part of a group that's collecting funds for uh, maybe to help those in need to to help those suffering during the covid crisis and you chip in you also contribute right so let's all chip in and get rita a new book or can i chip in rupees 100 for the present don't ask do it <laughs> let's look at the next phrase verb cash out cash out means to sell an investment i think it's time we cashed out on that stock or we shouldn't have cashed out so so uh, so soon so we shouldn't have sold that investment so early next one payback right now payback has again two meanings first meaning of payback is to simply pay back the money to give the money that you borrowed back to someone usually a friend so did you ever pay me that rupees 100 back can i pay you back next week so this friend has completely forgotten all about it so Okay, so if you take a look at the video on uh, rain idioms, you will find uh, a video, uh, uh, an idiom, especially about borrowing something and not giving it back. That was a very, very funny expression. Do you remember what it is? If you remember what the video that I'm talking about, put it down in the comments. It's a very, very funny expression. It's there in that video. I talked about a friend borrowing money and having no plans of giving it back. And there is a very funny expression that talks about it related to rain. Okay, if you remember, put it down. Payback has another meaning. It's about taking revenge on someone, right? So when someone does you wrong, the first instinct is to pay them back for hurting you. So you take revenge for someone, well, maybe someone um, did something against you spread some lies against you and we are very very hurt and you want to take revenge so you pay them back right in the same coin that's also another expression right okay next cut back on cut back on is to reduce so it can be reducing expenses it can be reducing uh, consumption uh, your uh, intake of uh, food if you're planning to lose weight intake of carbs intake of sugar Okay, so cut back on is to to reduce expense at the same time to reduce something. It also means to reduce something. Cut back, right? So let's cut back on some of those streaming services. Yeah, so I am subscribed to Netflix. You might have a Hotstar. You might have all those streaming services at the same time, and you are paying a lot of money for that. Let's cut back on some of them. We are not watching all at the same time. We need to cut back on grocery shopping. We're spending too much on food. We need to be frugal. You're spending too much. Now, here is another phrasal verb. Take out. So, to finalize a loan or to get a loan, right? So, you didn't tell us those terms and conditions when you took out the loan. So, taking out a loan means to, taking out refers to getting a loan from a bank okay from a someone so you never told us those terms and conditions when we took that loan and now we are trapped now take out also has another meaning to remove something from pocket or bag so you take out your wallet you take out your phone you take out your lunch box right next one the last phrasal verb get by get by has again two meanings but they're very very similar get by means to survive financially to be able to pay your expenses so you can't get by on rupees thousand per week especially if you're staying in an expensive city where living costs are pretty high Rupees thousand a week it's very difficult to get by but yes there is assurance could be fine we'll easily get by the other thing is to be able to live or deal with the situation with difficulty but here the idea is that you are doing with whatever you have. So you usually by having just enough of something, you need to just money. It's still almost similar in meaning. For example, how can you get by on so little money? Will you be able to survive? Right? How did you like it? Did you like all these phrasal verbs? And they are all related to money. So every time you remember the word money, 
these phrasal verbs should flash in your mind and you should use them whenever you can. I hope this lesson was useful. I hope you're going to apply them in different contexts and enjoy. The scope of phrasal verbs is infinite. You have so much of potential and you can use them in so different contexts and they have amazing meanings. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. I'll be back very soon with another video. Thanks for watching.